Hello everyone and hello Nottingham. We are back. And once again, no, we're not here to talk about Robin Hood. Last time we were here, we visited Nottingham Castle and Mortimer's home. Today, we're wandering around the National Justice Museum in Nottingham that, according to the ladies in the city of caves, is super haunted. Nottingham caves have a way of blurring the lines between reality and myth. Fear and curiosity are two sides of the same coin, and when it comes to places like these, they're both present in abundance. I do wonder if these stories are merely the product of imagination, or if there is any truth to them. Here it is. Do these souls still inhabit the cells and the walls of this ancient girl? Here in the entrance hall, ghosts have been reported here. A soldier, a Victorian man, and an old lady. That's probably because the gallows were where the entrance is now. The museum was a former Victorian courtroom, prison and police station. A place where someone could easily be tried, sentenced and executed would explain the alleged hauntings. The Normans were here first. They appointed a sheriff to keep the peace and collect taxes. I know that we said we were here for Robin Hood, but th this is where the infamous Sheriff of Nottingham was based. This place has been a courtroom since 1375 and a prison since 1449. Staff and visitors have been reporting paranormal occurrences. The staff of the case told me that someone got pushed against the wall. So the guide was telling me that we are going down to the prison cells and people actually die there. And there is one confinement cell that is pitch black and eight people have died there and they're buried in the yard. Let's go and have a look. It's actually quite spooky. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> they tell me that, oh, the noise. So they tell me that you can actually feel, feel pulling if you go to the women's ward and that could be children that died there. There has been a jail on this site since 1449. The inmates, mostly debtors and felons, were kept apart. Debtors were housed in three good-sized sleeping rooms. They had a mess room that contained a glazed window, fireplace and an oven. This definitely some sort of energy around here. I can feel it this in my stomach. I'm told that this is where there usually is a lot of activity. Screams up, chilling, isn't it? These are the caves. Get in the caves. The pits. 
the earliest surviving parts of prison. They were used to hold prisoners wanting to be sent for transportation to be tried. They could be held in the pits for months. One of the pits continued to be used in the 19th century. Oh, that is so creepy. These are the dungeons. Wow. A place to be forgotten. Through the greater your feet, over 20 meters below street level is a dungeon dug with the sandstone, and prisoners were thrown in this dungeon and left to die. Apparently, this is where, this is the area where there is most of the ghost activity. It's actually kind of creepy. There's the Nubliette just down here. They wouldn't live for long, especially with the humidity and the dampness. Trapped in here, cold and damp with no light. This is the escape. That's creepy, isn't it? It's got graffiti on it. It's apparently where black, black figures and sense of being touched, being experienced. Why well, the thing is moving on its own? It's moving on its own. So this is where you where you see dark figures and noises. All well, the other ones are still and that one keeps moving. This is the confinement cell. Imagine being locked up in here with no light, nothing. Keep the light on. Not sure I want to do this. But this is the confinement cell, so people would be left here to die. People died here. He said that eight people died here. And the book died. Oh, well. <sighs> Trying to give me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, it feels really eerie here. Really, 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 really here. Like stomach crunching. That chain keeps moving, it's not stopping. And it is the only chain that keeps moving, it's really strange. Why would you do that? Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a thumb up, and I shall see you in the next one. And the light is just turned off. That my jacket there. That is really strange. She said three, two, one, and it just turned off. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a thumb up. And I shall see you in the next preview one. Thank you for watching. Bye!